How to wrap a stiff starter. What you need is, of course, your stiff starter. I like to use a plastic bag, some cloth, and you need some rope. I'm using the plastic bag just to place the sourdough in there and to make sure that my sourdough is not drying out. Because if you would not wrap it in a plastic bag, your sourdough will get a crust and then you can only use the interior next time that you want to bake with it. So important is to first make sure that you have the cloth underneath and then we are going to fold the two sides towards each other to make sure that the sourdough is well wrapped and then we continue like this. So now we have a little package and then the rope. The rope, I've made one knot here, so that makes it easy to make like a couple of turns and we go for three or four, okay. And now it's important that we pass under here. You can pull a little bit, but don't, don't do it too, too much. And then we go in the other direction. And important is that I do not make any knots, okay? I just go underneath. What you have to do now is to distribute the rope evenly. So the package is wrapped. What's going to happen now is that the CO2 will start to build up and uh, we're going to leave it for a couple of hours. And you see now there is no bouncing power or whatsoever, but you will see that within a couple of hours we will have like a nice little ball. My tired feet. The couple of hours finally became 24 hours, so I'm now going to take the sourdough from the fridge and we will see its bouncing power. So, the package is uh, very tight now. You feel, you really feel that there is a lot of CO2 and strength built up in this package and I can demonstrate that. Look. It's bouncing like a little ball. So the advantage of this now is that you can keep the sourdough quite for some time, not exceed two months, eh, that we remember from other movies. And you can easily wrap it like this for travel or uh, to transport it from one place to another. So this is a good way to wrap a stiff starter.